Okay, so I guess uh, let's have our class this morning. So before we start, let us have a short prayer. Ms. Trivino, can you lead us a short prayer? Yes, but, uh, let's bow our heads and feel the presence of our Lord. Uh, yes, Father God, uh, we praise you, honor you, and thank you, Lord. Uh, thank you for this day, for the strength, for the for the power, Lord. We ask for your guidance in everything we do. Bless us and our teacher and sharing her, our, her, her knowledge to us. All this we ask in your powerful name. Amen. So good morning to all. Good morning, 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 good morning. So I hope every most of the students, the mga iniintay natin is already in. So we are going to start our class this morning. So our lesson has something to do with the picture. Okay, here with this picture. So as we move on. Let's have a short review, okay? Last time, we described the location of the image formation. And we make use of the following prepositions, okay? With, with this as reference points, if the object or if the image is standing on this position, what preposition? is suitable to describe its location. Beyond curve. Beyond. Beyond. Okay. Beyond. For going to, uh, it's better to use the preposition beyond. So beyond the center of the curvature or beyond C. How about on this point? At, at, the, at, the, at the curvature. Okay. We're going to use at the preposition at, and uh, we can describe it as at the curvature. How about at this point? Between, between, between F and V. Okay, the preposition to be used is between, so between F and V. How about that? If we're going to use the concave mirror and the image is found there, what preposition are we going to use? Behind the mirror. Okay, it's behind the mirror. What if we are going to use, uh, what if the mirror that we use is a convex mirror? The reflector is on the bulging part. If the object is found there, what preposition are we going to use? In front. In front. Okay, very good. So in front of the mirror. So also, there, on this picture, let's take a look at the picture. What kind of mirror is used here? Concave. 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 Miss, Miss Tasara, what Con kind of mirror is used here? Concave mirror. Okay. So what helps you think that this is a concave mirror? Because it's inverted, tapos it's okay. really... The image is inverted, all right? So if the object is placed beyond the center of the curvature, it gives us that kind of image. It's reduced and it is inverted. How about this one? What kind of mirror is the boy holding to? Mr. Masido. Mr. Masido, are you there? Convex you mirror. What, okay, convex so what mirror. Think that it is a, a convex mirror? It is an uh, upright image. Po. Okay. So, bukod sa upright image siya, ano pa? Ang naging clue mo? Yung sizes din po, ma'am, nagbago. Okay, so yung size. So how will you describe the size of the image compared to the object? The image is reduced. Okay, so very good. So if the image is reduced and it is upright, then the mirror used here is a convex mirror. Okay, 
at any point or at any distance from the convex mirror, the quality of image is the same. It's upright, reduced, and since it is upright, it is a virtual image. Okay? So that this is one use of spherical mirror or curved mirror. So a dental mirror, what kind of mirror is this? Convex or a concave mirror? Mr. Aaron. The Terra. Mom, I think it's a concave. Why concave? Mom, it's I inverted the the qualities of image projected can also help you distinguish the type of mirror used. So first is you have to distinguish what what are the qualities of the image projected by the mirror? Oh, sige nga, let us help him. Kulaton. Po. Yes po. What are the qualities of the image projected by that mirror? Of course, the object is the... Opo. It makes larger and brighter po. Okay. An enlarged image. Very good. Or magnified image. So is it upright or inverted? Upright po. Okay, so if it is upright and enlarge, what kind of mirror is used here? Convex. Concave. Uh -huh. A concave mirror. Very good. At which specific point of the concave mirror are you going to place the teeth so that it can give you that kind of image projection? Here, yes, Almira. Malapit po near the near the object. At which specific point Between of the concave mirror? Between S and V. Po. Ay, very good, Miss Tasara. Sabi ni Miss Almira, malapit sa mirror. At which specific point na malapit sa mirror? And Defined answer is between F and V or between the focal point and the mirror itself. Okay, so dental mirror is a concave mirror. Okay, so moving on. Para lang tong math ninyo, no? So parts of the circle. So the point found at the middle of the circle na parehas ang distance Sa lahat ng sulok, sulok, no? Circle nga, may sulok. Okay? is what we call the center. Sa mat nyo, center yon Pero sa science natin, center of curvature because we're dealing with mirrors. Okay? Ang kahit anong cord na tatama dun sa center, ang tawag dun, diameter, which is equal in all parts, ano? Pag dinivide mo yan into two, ang tawag dun ay? Radius. Very good, Reju. So from C up to the point of intersection ni Reju doon sa may mirror, yun si vertex. Okay? Yan. If you are going to divide the radius into two, it will result to a specific point called focal point. Very good, the focal point. O mula doon kay focal point na yan, mula dyan kay F na yan papunta kay V, yun yung focal length na tinatawag natin. O di parang mat lang. Ano? Okay. So, doon ang galing yung mga points of reference na C, F, and B. Yung C is the center of the curvature or yung center ng spherical mirror na pinagamitan natin. While dividing the um, that radius into two will give us the focal length. Okay, so if from the mirror to the center of curvature, we have 15 centimeter. What is the focal length of this mirror? Aaron, ay natawag ko na, EJ naman, EJ. 7.5 centimeter. Okay, very good. So we have 7.5 centimeters. So a while ago, you tried to describe qualitative characteristics of the image. 
Ngayon, lagyan natin ng number. Let's try to think about this. An object is placed 7.5 from the concave mirror. With the mirror's focal length of 5 cm, oh, you use your notebook, you try to, to illustrate it on your notebook. With the mirror's focal length of 5 cm, what are the qualities of the image form? Sino-sino pa yung nandiyan? Baka biglang mag-left the batch yung nandiyan pag tinawag ko, ha? Manila, ang pogi mo. Ah, my hat. Oh, sige nga, let us try to describe the object's location. And then the, uh, the image location, orientation, size, and type. Wait, time first. Yes, who's that? Is that you, Mr. Gabriel? Ma'am. Jermaine. Location po, ma'am. Location nino? Uh, yung object muna? Apo. Oh, sige. Between F and V po. Why? Kasi po pag, pag, yung focal point po nung length, ah, uh, 5 centimeters. So, pag dinobol po, ay 10. So, yung hinahanap po, 7.5. So, between po siya ng F and V. Do you conform with his answer? No po. Sino yon? <laughs> si Aaron o si EJ? Aaron po. Okay, Aaron, why not? Why why not F and V? Why not between F and V? Ma'am, I think it's between C and F po. Para mabalik. Baliktad po yung pagano niya nung distance. I think magsisimula po yung bilang vertex to the center. Okay, so, from the center to the vertex, it should be 10. Because the focal point, uh, the focal length is 5 cm. Doubling it, it will give you the length of the center of the curvature to the vertex. So where is the object located? Ano po, between C and N? There. Focal length of 5 cm, doubling it, that's 10, right? That's C. When the object is placed 7.5, dividing dividing C between C and F into 2, diba 5 yon. Apo. Ayon. So 2.5 plus 5, that's 7.5. So that is the location of the object. How about the image? Very good. How about the orientation? Inverted. 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 The size of the image. Enlarge. 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 Yeah, enlarge. Yes. How about the type of image? Real. Real. Why is it real? Hindi nyo naman nagamitan ng, ano, ng ray diagramming. What's your clue there? Inverted. Very good. If the image is inverted, then therefore the type of image projected is real. Okay? So same as with this. We use appropriate preposition in order for you to describe the lost or the location orientation size type image. Uh, the image formed by the curved mirror. So it has something to do with our lesson today because this time we are going to talk about how the image is formed in lenses. So last week we described the qualitative characteristics of the image formed by mirrors. This time the qualitative characteristics of the image formed by lenses. Okay, so ready your notes. First is let us distinguish these two types of lenses. In mirrors, when the light strikes the mirror, the light will be reflected. This time, the light will be refracted because lenses are optically dense objects. Pag tumama yung ilaw sa kanila, magbibend yun. Hindi yun babalik sa object. Okay? Remember that light travels in a straight path. Pero pag tumama sila sa mga optically dense uh, materials, kagaya ng lens, 
babaluktot yon. So, I will demonstrate it to you today. Okay? So, first is we have this convex lens. A convex lens has bulging mid and very thin edges. Okay? Ang taba nung gitna, mapayat yung dulo. While this type of lens has a very thin mid part while very thick on both edges. So, that is a concave lens. So, what does a convex lens do with the light? Incident ray that passes through this optically dense instrument. There is a specific point in which the refracted light rays are meeting. That is the focus of the lens. So, associating it with our first quarter lesson, what do you call that movement of plate that goes closer to each other or colliding to each other? Converge. Okay, so that's why a convex lens is known as converging lens because it is converging the light rays, the refracted light rays. Okay? So what does a concave lens do with the light rays? When light rays hit concave lens, it does like that. So if a convex lens is a converging lens, this type of lens is diverge. Okay, diverging lens because it diverges the refracted rays. Okay? Yeah. In order for us to capture images with the use of these uh, lenses or Ray diagram is very helpful. So I will just demonstrate it to you. Okay? Of course, in ray diagram, we need to be familiar with these specific points. Yung pinakagitna ng lens is what we call the V or the vertex. From there, we are going to draw um, an imaginary line called the principal axis. So kung saan nagtama-tama or nag-meet yung mga refracted rays kagaya nung kanina, that is the measure of the focal point or the focal length. Okay? So from the focal point to the vertex, that is the focal length of the lens. Multiplying it into 2, that is the 2F. So since hindi naman siya, ref, wala siyang reflector, transparent sa kabila, ganun din yung assignment natin sa kabila. Pero kung saan tatayo yung object, that is the prime. So, 2F prime or F prime. Okay. Suppose that an object is standing here beyond 2F prime kasi nandun yung object, ano? Okay? When the light ray approaches the lens, it will be bent or refracted passing through the focus. So, this is the PF ray in ray diagramming for lenses. From the tip of the object passing through the mirror, uh, passing to the lens, it needs to cross through the vertex. So, there is already an intersection of the refracted rays. And the intersection of the refracted ray will serve as the starting point for the image formation. Okay? So now let us describe the quality of the image form in this situation. So there goes the image. The location of the object is? Beyond 2F. Okay, beyond 2F prime. Okay, so when we describe the image formation, we need to remember the loss, the location, O for orientation, S for the size, and T for the image. So the object is found beyond 2F or 2F prime. How about the location of the image? Between F and 2F. Okay, so between F and 2F. How about its orientation? Inverted. Okay, very good. It is inverted. Kaya lang, it, 
this time it's different on the type of image formation if the image is formed on the same side of the object and if the image or if the image is formed on the other side do natin madidistinguish kung sino si virtual or si real okay the size is reduced and the image type is real why because the image is formed on the opposite side or on the other side of the lens so kung si object nasa kanan tapos si image sa kabila na form real yun. pero if the image is formed on the same side of uh, the object it's a virtual image so that's the difference on the image formation of the mirror and the lens okay another one Having same setup, but let us place the object. There. So let us describe the image formation by its lost. Typographical error on the last column, no? It should be type, not image. Okay, I'm so sorry. Okay, the object is located at? At 2F. Okay. At 2F. Yeah, and you can also chat your answer, okay? So, at 2F or at 2F prime. How about the location of the image? At 2F. At 2F. Okay. At to F. How about the orientation? Inverted. Inverted. Okay, so it is inverted. naman nakataob, no? Yung object is upright and then the image is inverted. O, dito tayo magkakatalo sa size. Let na see. Jerkin observation. Same size. Same size. So it's the same size. Okay, the image form is Having the same size as with the object. Oh, what's your clue in determining the type of image? You disregard the other the side. Image. Okay, so since it is on the other side of the object, the type of image is real. 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 Okay. real. On this situation, man, what if the object is placed at F? So, from incident ray approaching the lens will be refracted and will hit the focus. And then, from the tip of the object, incident ray will pass through the vertex like that. Is there any point of intersection of the refracted rays? No. 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 So there is none in this situation, or there is no image. Very good. There is no image. So when you place an object at F or exactly at the focus of the convex lens, there will be no image form. Kaya pag naglalaro kayo ng lente, parang ina-adjust adjust yu pa siya. Pag wala, pag blurred na blurred talaga. Walang image yun, ibig sabihin. Okay? How about this one? If the object is placed between the F prime and the, the lens, can you see there is already an extended refracted ray? Then there goes the image. So if the object is found between the F prime and the lens, the location of the image is beyond beyond, beyond to okay so f prime. beyond to f prime okay how about the orientation up and right up right. 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 Oh, yes miss kabuag up it's right. Up right all right how about the size jana Okay, large. so it is large. large or it is bigger than the object's size. How about that type of image? 
Virtual. Virtual. Why virtual, Miss Hadia? Kasi po nasa same nasa same side po siya ng ano object. So if the image is found on the same side as the with the object or as the same side of the object, the image type is virtual. Okay? So what can you infer with the image formation by convex lens? Does it give same quality of the image? No. So it doesn't give us same quality of the image. If you're going to place the object, a different point in front of the convex mirror, it gives us different or varying image qualities. Okay? How about in concave lens? It has the same points of reference, the F and the 2F. Let us have an object placed between 2F and F. So, incident ray approaching the mirror. So, parang yung pinaka-vertex niya, mag lagay lang kayo ng imaginary line, you know, that will serve as a reference point for the refracted ray. Yan. But we're going to use the extended ray. Kasi nga, the refracted ray should be a passing through the focus. Kaya ayan yun. So, incident ray should be parallel to the principal axis. And then will be refracted passing through the focus. Okay po? Hindi siya pwedeng pababa kasi ito ay diverging lens. Remember that. Okay. Incident ray that will hit the focus will be refracted parallel to the principal axis. So this is another situation of uh, principal rays. Okay? And since we are going to draw it parallel to the principal axis, we need to extend the light ray. So the intersection of the refracted light ray is here. And that is where the image is formed. So that's how concave lens project images. So when you use concave lens, lumili it siya. Okay? So let us try to describe. The image formation by con concave lens. Okay. May hindi pa sumasagot. Ang dami nyo kaya dyan. O sige, sila naman. One way of um, confirming sa akin na naiintindihan ninyo is when you participate in our class. Okay? O sige. Isa-isahin natin. The object is found, ako na magbibigay, between 2F prime and the F prime. How about the location of the image form? Between F and V po. Oh yes, Miss Baris. Oh, Nakalis ka na. Okay. Between F and V or between F and the lens itself. Okay? How about the orientation? Upright. 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 Good, Mr. Clark. It's upright. upright. How about the size? <laughs> Who says is it enlarged? It is reduced. reduced. And since it is on the side of the object, is the projected answer here correct or no? No. No. What should be the answer on the image type? Virtual. Virtual. Same side. Because of this, it's found on the same side of the object. Okay? So, yan. What if we place the object naman at 2F? Refracted rays. Focus as its reference point. And then, parallel to the principal axis, and then extended ray will be drawn. And the image is formed on the intersection of the extended refracted ray. 
location of the object between 2f object at 2f at 2f at 2f at 2f prime yan 2f prime location of the image between, between the f and the vertex and between f and the vertex or between f and the lens orientation upright 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 upright, upright. the size is the and the type of image is virtual virtual very good so mali yan ang napansin ko kasi sa inyo pag ako yung nagdi-discuss screenshot lang ng screenshot yung iba hindi na talaga iniintindi so ayan so just one way of checking if you are really listening or learning with the lesson ha o alam niyo na ang style ko bulok o, just joking how about at this point if the object is placed at f in front of a concave lens Okay. Incident ray parallel to the principal axis will be refracted with focus as its reference point. Incident ray will pass through the concave lens and will be refracted parallel to the principal axis. Okay. So let us describe the image formation here. The image is located where? Um, yes. F. At F. Yes, Veronica, between F and? Lens. The lens. How about the orientation of the image? Upright. 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 Okay, it is upright. How about the size? Reduce. Reduce. Okay, so it mm -hmm. is reduced. And the type of image is? Virtual. Okay, having said that, my dear students, what can you say about the image formation in concave lens? Same quality. Ulet, repeat. Who is that? Same quality. That's you, EJ. Okay. Can you make an info? Oh. What can you infer about the image formation on the uh, in the concave lens? Um, the qualities of concave lens have the same qualities in location, orientation, size, and the type of image. Okay, so at any point, o kahit saan nilagay ang object sa concave lens, iisa lang ang quality. The same quality of image in terms of location, orientation, size, and type. Very good. Okay. Let's try to think about it. Your eye uses a lens to project image to the retina, just like what is seen on the screen. What kind of lens a human eye has Convex. Convex. Concave. Concave. Sige nga. Taran, 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 taran. Concave. Concave. Miss Almira. Convex box. It is a convex, convex mirror. Mirror ba? <laughs> It's a convex lens. What if you have a um, astigmatism or lumabo si mata? What kind of lens are you going to wear? A convex lens or a concave lens? O lahat ng nakasuotang naka salamin, tignan nyo na yung shape na salamin nyo. Is it a convex or concave Con lens? Con Okay. Lens. Lens is used okay. to correct visions. Okay? Now, which lens projects real image? Convex. Convex. 
Ano talaga? Con- Con- convex Vex. po. Convex. Okay. Convex mirror. Ay, convex lens. I'm so sorry. All right. So, pag sinabi nating project tayo sa kabila, I will try to demonstrate to you how is projection on screen done? Just like yung pinakita na ang picture nung nakaraan. So, dun tayo sa may isa ko pong account. You try to pin it. Yan. So, this will... Kita na po? Yung isang uh, account ang tingin. Yes. Okay. Po. So, yung white screen na nakikita ninyo, that will be... Uh, itong pat, puting papel na to, that will serve our, as our white screen. That is where we're going to project the image. This is a plain mirror. Plain mirror lang siya. O yan. Pag yung ilaw, itinapat natin dyan sa screen. May nakikita kayong image? Wale, ano? You know? It's because the light rays reflected to the screen are parallel lines. Hindi nagko-converge. Okay? There is no converging um, light rays. Kaya there will be no image or real image to be projected on the screen. What kind of lens are we going to use para mag-converge ang mga ilaw na ito? Convex. 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 A convex, convex lens. Ito yun. Okay? So, magbabago na ngayon yung inyong pananaw pagdating sa mga lente. Ang alam nyo lang pang pamagnify, pang paano. Okay? So, let us see. So now what can you see? Can you see na may kapitbahay? Can you see the image? Nakatapat siya kasi sa bintana. Kaya yes. makikita mo na sa bintana. So adjusting the lens. Yan. Yan ngayon yung ginagawa nyo sa camera nyo na auto-focusing. So, mapapalinaw natin siya. Ayan. Including yung color. Sasama siya. Okay. At ras, abante lang si lens. Lilinaw na si camera. Yan yung konsepto ng camera. Mirror and the lens together. Did you get it? Tanggalin natin si convex lens. Ano na lang ang nakikita ninyo? Liwanag na lang. Wala nang image. Pero pag nilagyan natin siya, yan. Nakikita nyo na si image. Only real image can be projected to the screen just like what you are seeing now. Okay? Did you get it? Okay. Back to our presentation. On your notebook, number it 1 to 5. Let us check if you can still recall how is the image form in this setup? Everybody, work on it, please. Okay, so can we check now? Can we check your work now? Yes. Yes. Okay. Remember that it's Manta. Honesty is 
The best policy. The best friend. Very good. Honesty is the best policy. Okay. You should always be friend with honesty. Kasi yan ang tutulong sa inyo para umunlad. Hindi nyo aaminin ng inyong pagkukulang at pagkakamali. Hindi kayo matututo sa mga bagay na ganyan. Okay? So, isa-isahin natin yung sagot nila. Grace, do, kahit chat na lang kasi may problema yung mic mo, no? Grace, number one. What's your answer, Grace? How about you, Miss Jasmine Kapilitan? Number one, the location of the object. Beyond to explore. Beyond? Behind po. No? Behind to F. That's Ryan Rango, no? O oh, sige, nililista ko lang. Kabu Aglorain. Beyond to F po. Okay, so the correct preposition to be used is beyond. So it's beyond to F prime. Okay? How about the location of the image formed by this lens? Wait lang, I'm um, first. Si Sophia Ayud Tud. Between F and 2F. Okay, so between F and 2F. How about the orientation? JC, can you follow? JC Cristobal. Yes, ma'am. The orientation of the image, is it upright or inverted? Inverted po, ma'am. Okay, so it is inverted. Very good. How about the size, Miss Julian of Maria? Reduce po. Okay, so it is reduced. How about the image type, Crystal Arinabo? Ma'am, virtual. Why virtual? Nisi Perez. Ma'am, um, ano po? Is it really virtual? Ano ma'am, real po. Why real image? Ano ma'am? Kasi ma'am... Uh, Real image is correct, but why? Siguro susunod yung quiz nyo, gano'n, no? Why? <laughs> Nick Paul. Ano po, ma'am, real po? Why po? Kasi po, inverted po. We are no longer considering being inverted or upright on the type of image because we are dealing with the lenses. Real is correct, but why? Kim, Wiley. Ma'am, ano oh. po? Kasi po, nasa other side po siya ng lens. Okay, if it is found on the other side of the lens, not found on the same side of the object, the image type is real. Pero pag si image ay katabi ni object, yan ay virtual. Yun yung difference ng lens sa mirror. Okay? Tama ba itong mga pinagsasagot dito sa may screen natin? Are they correct? Yes. 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 I want you to take a picture of your um, your work today 
and then kindly post it to our GC. Later, I will consider your score as additional score to um, performance test. Okay? So that is all for today. Thank you so much for listening. Once again, this is your beloved teacher, Mrs. Colasi. Ending with I and I. Thank you. Okay? Thank so you, our attendance, please... Our Turn on your camera and let us have a screenshot of our beautiful faces. Beautiful na to ng lagay kong to. So, thank you so much for your participation. Okay, so, wag mahihiya kay teacher na mag-PM kung may naguguluhan na parte ng lesson. Wag lang money problem at lab problem. Wala tayong alam dyan. Okay? So please turn on your cam so I can see your beautiful faces. Ayan, kita ko na si Jermaine. Secretaries of each class, I want you to post the screenshot of uh, our discussion today or of our class today so you can post it on our um, respective GCs. I thank you, Miss Veronica Bakukanag, for attending. Ayan, kahit busy siya. Ba't parang hindi ko kita yung sarili ko? Ayan, smile, every all. Thank you so much. My dear students, um, nasend ko na sa inyo yung mga result ng inyong, um, result ng inyong mga worksheets. My consideration dun sa my worksheet number 7. Ha? Later, I will uh, give you the correct answer. And then, kindly send me the, the, the scores. Okay? So, that's all for today. Thank you so much, my dear students. I love you all. Thank you. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am. Hello, good morning. I love you. I love you. Uh, Love you all. <laughs> Sana all love. <laughs> Munyenyo. Okay, Munyenyo. Munyenyo. Super kitip. Bang, bang. Bang, bang, bang. Bang. Okay.